Okay, we're going to be learning about plant adaptations, so things that plants do to, ab to adapt to the environment. We've learned a little bit about animals and how they adapt, but plants do it too. So first we've got some uh, main vocabulary to go through. We've got adaptation, behavioral adaptation, structural adaptation, and dormancy. So um, adaptations are a way that a plant or an animal um, changes things about themselves, whether that's just by nature or by behavior, to help them survive. So um, I'm going to figure out which one of these goes with that. So I've got a structure, a part of an organism's body that helps it survive in its habitat, a behavior that helps an organism survive in its surroundings, something about an animal or plant that makes it possible to live in a particular location. That sounds about right. And then a period of, yep, yeah, I know which one that is. Okay. So then we've got two different types of adaptations. We've got behavioral adaptation and structural adaptation. So behavioral adaptation, that means things that we do to adapt to our environment. So um, that's just a behavioral thing. So a behavior that helps an organism survive in its surroundings. So that might be... Um, like a, well, I don't know, that could be structural too, but a lion growling to scare off somebody that might hurt him or something like that to tell people, hey, I'm scary, get away from me. That's a behavioral kind of thing. A structural adaptation, um, a structure or part of an organism's body that helps it survive in its habitat. So something natural to them. So like a chameleon's ability to change colors to blend in. Dormancy is a period of suspended life brought on by changes in the environment. So during the winter, a dormant tree will not grow or develop. It just kind of freezes. That's, the leaves fall off the trees. The trees don't die, but they're not growing. They're not changing. They're just kind of frozen, and they stay still until the season is over. So now we have to match the questions to the answers. What is an adaptation? Is special features that allow a plant to live in a particular habitat or place. And why do plants have adaptations? In order to survive. Just like animals and humans. So here we're going to look at some different plant adaptations and match them to the picture that they're describing. So first off, we've got um, flexible stems that help aquatic plants avoid damage by water currents. So that kind of goes along with this seaweed right here on the side. Um, those They're flexible because the currents are blowing them all over the place. Well, they're able to be moved a lot. Have you ever tried walking and moving water? It's really hard. And then if you imagine a plant trying to stay together underwater, that's going to be hard to do. So these flexible stems that are a natural piece of the seaweed allow them to not break in the water's current. Some tundra plants produce a red pigment that helps absorb more heat from the sun. So in, in the tundra, as you know, it's very cold. So having these red pigments hold more heat in so that it, help, it holds that heat in a cold environment. An extensive root system helps grassland plants survive fires by graze, ungrazing by herbivores. So um, a lot of roots, if there's a fire, it's spread out to keep it grounded. Um, and the grazing by herbivores is reduced from that. And then waxy leaves help aquatic plants repel water so they, they don't get too much of it. So, and it's got this like waxy residue on top. Okay. And here we got leaves of tropical plants have a pointed tip to let water drain. Well, you can see in this picture, we've got water draining. Waxy leaves help retain moisture. These leaves are waxy here. They're retaining the moisture. Deciduous trees lose their leaves in the winter to reduce water loss. So here's the, you know how they change colors and then they, the leaves fall off? That is in order to reduce how much water they're going to lose. And then many rainforest trees 
have buttress roots to provide stability. So really what that means is just roots on the inside that really hold it down. It's like the glue inside of a tree trunk. Okay, so now we're going to play structural or behavioral. So remember, structural is something, it's an instinct. It's something that the plant is really born with and just able to have. Behavioral is something that it realizes it should do over time. So vines climb up the tree in dense forests for sunlight. Plants lean and grow toward the sun for food. Seeds shaped to catch the wind so that they can be moved. Uh, well, a shape, that's going to be structural. Sweet fruit attracts animals to spread seeds, so it's just sweet by nature. Thick bark protects against predators. Um, can't really control how thick the bark is going to be. That's just a structural thing. Some plants are dormant during the winter. They go, okay, I'm going to freeze. I'm not going to have any any movement or anything. I'm just going to freeze until the winter's over. Um, vines climb up a tree. That's a behavioral. Plants lean and grow towards sun or food. That's behavioral. And that's it on plant adaptations.